Hey, what's going on, everybody? Who be one eight six back again with another video. Uh, this is pretty much a follow up video to my last video, but this time I'm gonna be talking about the aftermath, and uh, you know, pretty much talking about PlayStation Four Pro and everything that's gone on around it. There's been a lot of news that's come out in the last couple of days, and for Sony, most of it has been negative. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about that. Plus, I'll talk about some other stuff. So I guess I'll classify this as a talking PlayStation. Um, video but uh let's talk about everything that gone on afterwards when it comes to the uh to the pro reveal um you know like the more i thought about it cause i've seen a lot of videos seen a lot of opinions on it and the one thing that i i that i'm trying to figure out is what is the negative of the ps uh, the ps4 pro existing you know what i mean like i personally don't see what the negative is now, I, like I said in, in my last video I think that some of the stuff that still needs to be addressed I don't know I don't know if they've been addressed but some of the stuff that they've said you know that you know it'll, some games will have native 4k resolutions um, you know there seems to be a lot more support for from the from devs and companies regarding um, kind of patching old games and making them compatible or whatnot and um you know i i to me i i don't see what the negative is now you know i asked a couple people on twitter i'm i'm still feeding i'm still getting uh feedback right now but um one of them what said that it was not a um it will that you know it's not a big enough jump you know what i mean and you know that is that's really pretty much an opinion you know what i mean so i, I i'm not going to, to challenge anyone on that you know Every looks like graphics are are very between people, so it, it's hard to combat that. The one thing that I've noticed from from the outrage, I I feel like the thing that people are most outraged about is the no, uh, they don't have a 4K Blu-ray player in it, and the people who I see complaining about it, obviously are the places are the Xbox fanboys. And and you know I that that's you know it's it's not it's not surprising you know what I mean if, it, if the roles were reversed I I think you'll see a lot of PlayStation fanboys do the same thing, but the thing that I find weird about that is that a lot of these dudes who are complaining about it have Xbox One S's, so if you have an Xbox One S and let's say theoretically you want to get you want to get a PS4 so that you can you know, either play it or bitch and complain about how it has no games and tell people on Twitter and, and, and try to gain a following that way. For whatever reason, you know, you, you, you see this PS4 and you're like, oh, it doesn't have a 4K Blu-ray player, right, blah, 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 blah. You already have an Xbox One S that can play um, 4K um, Blu-rays in 4K or whatever. So what the fuck do the PS4, do your new PS4 need, need one for you know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, I think you should have it, but it's not a deal breaker, especially not for me, because I don't own anything. I don't own any 4K. I don't, the only 4K I have is 4K in debt. That's it. Everything else is, I don't have no 4K. I don't have an HDR or whatever. I don't have any of that stuff. So it's not a big deal to me. Now, and then everything else, I'm trying to figure out where I don't see the negative in the in the, in, in in the console existing now if you want to buy it or not that's a different issue but does it need to exist you know especially with the scorpio coming out in a year i do i just to me i just don't understand why the pro like i feel like the pro itself like it's just getting it's just getting a lot of i don't know if it's getting a lot of hate or whatnot i i i mean i i don't understand so i i mean in the comment section below i if you guys want to understand what what do you what your 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 thoughts on on the, on the PS4 Pro? Why is not a viable opposition for you? You know what I mean. Like I I I just want to know that. Now, a couple other things that I wanted to address was one. I guess you kind of play the part in it. Uh, is the um the Microsoft executives? You know, Aaron Greenberg, uh, Mike Mikey Barra. Who else have I seen? Larry Herb. You know, they kind of like, you know, sending little, I, I don't want to say, I guess you could say trolley tweets in regards to, in, in regards to, you know, Sony, everything that's going on with Sony right now. 
and and you know I see a lot of people, a lot of places and dudes, you know, upset, you know, getting pissed off at them, to calling them unprofessional. I think um, PlayStation Four um, Germany called Aaron Greenberg unprofessional. I'm like, holy shit. And to me, I look at it, I don't look at it that way. Like I just look at it as as them just look look guys listen. These executives, whether you want to believe it or not, they're they're fucking they're human beings. You know what I mean? They're they're just like me and you. Like then they have a very heavy invested interest in the Xbox. You know what I mean? Obviously they all work there. You know they make a lot of money over there. You know what I mean? So yeah, if they're gonna make a a, a trolley tweet or whatever, yeah, they're trying to sell their product. Like it's not. I, why should I be offended by that? Like, as a primarily a PlayStation gamer, like I'm not offended by it because I don't get like I, Sony don't pay my bills, man. Like, they don't pay my bills. Like, I don't I don't feel any type of real emotional attachment to their plastic. You know what I mean? I care more about the games than I do about the company. You know what I mean? Like, I I don't me personally I don't see I I don't see what the big deal is. Now I did see Phil Spencer's comments. And I think uh, someone someone called him out on 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 kind of like the weird hypocrisy going on because Phil Spencer, as you guys know, he's very against that type of uh, that type of behavior, and he said that you know he's not he's not for it. Now again, I don't think he's gonna I don't I, I don't think he sh- he's going to stop it or should he stop it? Like like that's not his thing. Like I I don't think that's something he should be concentrating on. Like he should be concentrating on the brand. Um, building the Xbox brand, but at the end of the day, like if you if you guys are si- are sitting there and you guys are 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 you know are you one of the what like how many how many millions of people who like that video? I have millions upon millions upon millions of people who like that Shuhei Adam Boy sharing video. You guys can't get mad at this. And look, that video that Shuhei that Shuhei um Adam Boy's video is to this day. The best fucking video I've ever seen in my life when it comes to like these corporations uh, trash talking each other. It is so funny. So Sony's built their entire 2013 uh, press conference, at least the last half of it, at basically trolling Microsoft. So, it, so if the Xbox guys want to do it, like it's not a big deal. Like it's just is at the end of the day, it's just fucking it's just it's bullshit. At the end of the day, who cares? You know what I mean? Um. All right, the last thing I'll talk about is the is the whole um, Bethesda PlayStation mod fiasco. Um, Bethesda did an interview. I forgot who. Um, it, I'll, I I I will have the link below in the description about how they wanted to make uh, you know the mods, which they announced earlier on. They announced it first on Xbox One and PC, but I I don't know. I, I think they said eventually it would come to PS4. But according to what I read, Sony pretty much the, their fear is that they don't want these mods breaking the console, and you know if you if you know like, I mean honestly to be honest, I mean I can understand their their concern, and you know the thing is that since I'm not a PC gamer, I don't know much about the modding community. I don't know if if mods you know causing problems for the game or your computer if it affects it or not. I I would you know I, I I'll I'll ask around if you know in the comment section below. Let me know. But if you're, I mean, if you're Sony, I can understand the, I can understand the concern. However, while I can understand it, they also have Sony has to also understand that they completely devalued their version of Skyrim or Fallout or what have you because at the end of the day, if the competition and yes, Adam Andrew House. The Xbox One is your competition, not the PC. Cut that shit out. Regardless, regardless, I got that shit out the way. But regard as for as for the mods, it completely devalues your version of the game when your competition can do the mod, the modding and stuff like that, and the PS and the um and the PS4 version do cannot. Now, now the the thing is that you know. From what I've seen from certain people on Twitter, now I saw Larry Herb, or aka Major Nelson, Major Nelson, uh, kind of do one of those you know teasy tweets about it. But one thing I found out 
that apparently in Minecraft on the Xbox and Minecraft is an Xbox property, even though it's on every platform known to man, is a is a Microsoft property. You can't do mo you can't have mod support on the on the Xbox or or any other platform except for PC, at least to my knowledge. So that I find that to be somewhat hypocritical. And if I'm not mistaken, Unreal Tournament on PS3, long time ago, had mod support for the PS4, but I don't think had that mod support for the Xbox One for the Xbox 360. Now I could, I I don't know that for for sure, and I'll I'll put. Anything in the, I'll look it up right now, and anything that I find out that's new, I'll put it in the, in the description. But so, you know, it, it, like I don't think personally, I don't think people looking at it like it's a and Sony being anti-consumer. I don't think it's that at all. I just think it's just it's a case is a case thing with when it comes to one game. You know what I mean? And and that's how I, that's how I look at it. But um, the last the last thing I wanted to address, and this is kind of like my overall point of the video. Is is this Sony's 2013 when it comes to all the the mountain of negative media media feedback, which completely debunks the whole media bias bullshit argument from Xbox fanboys? Um, you know the overall tempered rea the 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 tempered reaction overall, and um, the confusion and all the other stuff that's been going on with Sony lately. Um, is this their 2013? Now. Like I, the question I asked in the beginning, what is what is the negative, what is negative about the PS4 Pro? It's is at a fantastic price point, which is four hundred dollars. It's twice as strong as the original PS4, while also not leaving the PS4 gamers behind when it comes to pretty much abandoning the system, like Microsoft did with the OG Xbox. And I mean, I'm just I'm just being real here. I'm just being real that they did Microsoft did that to the OG Xbox. I'm just being honest. But you look at what they're doing with the PS4 Pro and then look at what happened 2013 with Microsoft. Now remember, let you get you get you have to remember just because the new just because all the news is bad, just because the same the the everything around it is bad doesn't mean they're the same thing. Like let's let's remember that. Think back to Microsoft um reveal. The initial we're not talking about E3, we're talking about the initial reveal. Reveal. Of the Xbox One S, how it was centered primarily on TV, on TV, on pretty much connecting everything to your Xbox, with very little emphasis on games. Then look at all the stuff that happened when it came to, to um, trying to figure out what, like whether or not it was going to block used games, whether or not you needed an internet connection all the time, all the all the all the negative stuff that they were going to do to the gamers. To gamers who didn't have a, who didn't have in a constant internet connection, to gamers who didn't have, you know, who couldn't afford to buy new games every single month, what would ha the negative connotation for the gamers when it came to what happened with the Xbox One and obviously with the with the price point and dealing with the fact that the competition made a stronger console for a lower price point, like it's not. It's not the same thing. Like, yeah, everything surrounding it is all the same. Like, it's all negative, but everything, but it's not. It's not the same thing. Like, if I don't look at outside of the of the um, the modding stuff, which can be perceived as anti-consumer, even though you know I've already explained what could be the reason for it. Everything else is just like an option. If you want, if you want to upgrade, then, excuse me. If you want to upgrade, then upgrade. If you don't, you don't. Like, you didn't get that same option with the Xbox One S. Remember what Don Matrick said. And the funny thing is, is that Don Matrick is used as kind of like the pinata for for that. And rightfully so. Like, he, you know, like, he was the head of, he was the the face of Microsoft. And, you know, like, fuck that dude anyway. That dude's got a golden parachute going to another field company in, in I think it was Zynga, I think it's called. But regardless. Like, but... Even though he was the head of it, Aaron Greenberg was there, Mark Ibarra was there, Phil Spencer was there. All those dudes were there, but yet all I see all the Xbox dudes who sit there and use Don Matrick as kind of like the the re, the sole reason why why you know the Xbox brand is in the position that they are now. 
they look at him as the reason why they're not performing as well at the PS4 when all those other dudes who send who's sending out all these all these tweets are 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 still there and they were there when when the whole thing was going on you know what I mean so and I mean and Aaron Greenberg you know he he's done stuff like this in the past but you know I don't look at but you know regardless I don't look at him like some evil unprofessional dude that's just who he is you know what I mean but you know regardless you know my point the point the point I'm trying to make is that no this is not Sony's 2013 now it's not a good week for them but at the same time I look at it like a situation where I think it's one of those situations where people have to have to actually use the PS4 Pro on TV that will be able to heighten do the heighten the the graphical fidelity and all that other stuff to see a difference and if and if we, if you don't think it's a big enough difference then don't buy one you know what I mean like me like I said before I'm not doing it um, right away, but if there ever comes a time when I feel like the time is right to to move on and, and get a PS4 Pro, and you know the cool thing that I read is that if you just have an Ethernet cable you connect it to, all your information will go from your old PS4 to your new PS4. So that that's even more incentive to, for me to get a Pro. So that's pretty much it. Like I didn't expect this video to go on for fucking seventy almost seventeen minutes. So I apologize for that. Um, but you know, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm interested to hear what you guys, what you guys thoughts are on this. This is Hoobie186 and I am out. Peace.